Hi, I'm Ray McAllister, editor of Boomer Magazine, and we're here today with Rita McClenney, head of the Virginia Tourism Corporation and formerly head of the Virginia Film Office and the one who helped bring Lincoln to Virginia. Thank Hi, you Ray. for being here. Great to be here. We, uh, we've been talking through these interviews on a number of subjects, but we want to wrap it up with where, where does Virginia go from here? This has been a, a major success. We assume the, uh, the film will be critically well received as well as by the public. But what, what's next for Virginia? Well, we're very excited. We have lots of projects in the pipeline. One that's coming up next this fall is called Wish You Well, based on a novel written by David Baldacci, right. Sarah Elizabeth uh, uh, Timmons. A, a boomer cover subject, by the way. Yes, yes. And he's a fine gentleman, a fine Virginian, mm -hmm. and we're very excited. The production will take place out in the southwestern part of the state uh, in October. We also just wrapped a Tom Hanks film, Captain Phillips, based on the book about the Maersk, Alabama ship and the Somalian pirates. Right, exactly. And that was a big news story. Absolutely. And Tom Hanks, he's one of my favorite actors. And it's like six degrees of Tom Hanks for Virginia. Mm -hmm. Of course, he was executive producer on John Adams. Right, a terrific he, series. By terrific the way. Really series. Good. And it really lives well. You can go mm -hmm. back and watch does, those seven episodes. And all of it was filmed in Virginia with the exception of the French parts, the, the European right, parts. Right. And then he um, will narrate Killing Lincoln, which was filmed in Virginia. They just wrapped about, I guess, four weeks ago. I didn't know that. And that National Geographic television movie is based on Bill O'Reilly's book, Killing right, Lincoln. Right. So Tom Hanks will be the narrator for that. Mm -hmm. And he's a, he loves Virginia, and we really enjoy having him here so much on Does Captain Phillips. Does anybody not like Tom Hanks? They shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Totally, totally super likable guy. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, probably unknown to many Virginians is the fact that people like Guy Fieri come here often for dives, diners, and drive-ins. Really? Okay. And Bobby Flay loves coming to do barbecue segments. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost a little embarrassed to say we get a lot of episodes of Hoarders that are filming <laughs> around. Why are you looking at me Virginia? when you say that? <laughs> they haven't come to my office. No, but seriously, we do get a lot of reality television shows, you know, episodic right. television. A Haunting, did you know, yeah. is filmed down at uh, Dominion Pictures, which is in Suffolk. Okay. And it's like the fifth season of A Haunting. Right. Cold Case, uh, which is a Metro Productions, is filmed mm -hmm. in Hampton. So we have lots of great companies, too, based in Virginia. Lots of right. filmmakers, lots of independent filmmakers. Richmond has been ranked four or five times as top cities in the country for independent filmmaking. Is that true? That's, yeah. That's amazing. Absolutely now, true. What, what will the, uh, the Steven Spielberg film Lincoln do for Virginia filmmaking? I mean, that's so big, it's got to have an impact. It will have an attraction to other filmmakers right. because people will learn that he filmed here, it was his third picture in Virginia, and they will mm -hmm. want to come and have that same positive experience. We have great crews, great infrastructure, great equipment that you can find, and of course, superior location. So we know that you know, a genius like Spielberg picking Virginia, other people want to make the same decisions. And also, mm -hmm. we want to open Virginia up to all kinds of filmmaking. We have great universities that have programs, George Mason, VCU, UVA, Virginia State, William & Mary. So, you know, we really have right. lots of people who live in Virginia, who go to our universities, who want to live in Virginia and stay home. So mm -hmm. we love that production is here and they have the opportunity to live in Virginia. And we also have the financial incentives now, Virginia does, that maybe we didn't before. Yeah, it's an important part of recruiting projects is to have the financial ability to recruit the work because now it's just a part of the process in making the deal to get a project to film in Virginia. You have to have the incentives, the people, the locations, all of it has to come together as a package. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, we are looking forward to the film. When when does it open? Do we know? Do we have any idea? <laughs> <laughs> the film opens in all theaters on November the 16th, so I hope everyone will go and see Lincoln. And one great thing, Ray, about the film after it opens, we know that this will be an incredible opportunity for tourism. Tourists will want to come here and walk in the footsteps of Steven Spielberg, Daniel Day-Lewis, Sally Field, Tommy Lee Jones, James Spader, Gordon Joseph Levitt. You know, it's really going to be a Hal great Holbrook. opportunity. Hal Holbrook. <laughs> what a cast. It was, I mean, it's an amazing cast. Amazing cast. It's an cast. And because we have such authentic locations, Petersburg, Richmond, where Abraham Lincoln actually visited, right. Alexandria. You know, the story goes on. And... 
it's just going to be, you know, I think the gift that we'll keep on giving. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for coming by, Rita. We very much appreciate it. And uh, we, we thank you for looking in.